he may be a bit crazy he may be he may be slightly a psychopath he may be random and a hypocrite but this is the perfect case of focus on the message ignore the messenger So look, man, he's been tweeting. Your boy Kanye West has been tweeting. And you know what? I normally ignore. Whenever he goes on a tweet rant about, oh, I want, I'm the new Louis Vuitton, I'm the new Moses, I'm the new Zeus, I'm, I just ignore it because for me, um, I don't need to um, be told what to do by a millionaire okay i don't need a millionaire to, to tell me that oh this is what needs to happen blah blah so all because you're rich it doesn't mean that i need i need to follow you so normally i i, I ignore it but then you know i just sort of caught wind of it i was like look let me just see what this guy is saying the thing about this is that a lot of the stuff that he's saying is a bit random and how he tweets is just all over the place and i do feel like he is he's a perfect case of an attention seeker he is an attention seeker and he wants to seek attention but if you just sift through the, the nonsense, the overall thing that he's saying is actually true. And it's something that, you know, I've heard about from the Joe Budden podcast and how he's been talking because he's he's been he's been a rapper and the whole thing of the music industry and how which is something that I never realized. Because I just assumed that I'm the artist, I made this music. Yeah, yeah, we have a share, but surely I own my masters. Surely I get to reap the benefits of my art. How is it that okay you 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 okay you you made the money through the publishing and I gave you a a higher percentage of CD sales and so forth or streams but with regards to the masters how don't I have that or or the bigger thing which is what he he goes into fine you keep the masters surely there's a price on it surely there's a, okay you want your masters it's this it's three it's three mil it's four mil it's ten mil it's five mil this is what it is if you want it. Here, here you go, but to not to not even have the ability to you shouldn't even have to buy your man after that's I just think it's crazy. But here we are. But there should be a price for people to buy their masters. And I think that is what he gets into. So this one here. Everyone at Universal and Vivendi, who the hell is Vivendi? Please understand that I will do everything in my legal power and use my voice until all artist contracts are changed, starting with getting my masters for my children. I will not stop, I promise you. I'm petty and very personal. So look, again, just focus on the message here. So yeah, um, see, the reason why this is this is this is why this is a big deal. Because yeah, I always do it in fact. It is a big deal because Kanye West is one of the most famous artists in the world. He is one of the most richest artists in the world, one of the most wealthiest. So his voice holds weight. So if, let's say, a Royce the Five Nine or a um, Action Bronson or just one of these dudes was, was saying this stuff like that, but a Kanye, even if, even if a Joe Biden said this stuff, it's like, okay. But Kanye West is arguably one of the most popular musical artists right now like literally he's on the same level as drake based on just how popular it is because it's not only the Kanye west and his career it is his association to kim kardashian ugly one of the most popular celebrities in the world so anything which is why anything he tweets as you can see it's going to get thousands upon thousands upon thousands of retweets and and, and likes um let's just see what else he says so sony you're not off the hook either one battle at a, at a time okay um all right a lot of this stuff is just it's crazy stuff. I suppose this is, this is checkers. Um, Rick James couch. A lot of stuff is random. So okay, it says this. Is, okay, guys, check this out. I don't have a contract with Universal. I have ten. They tried to bury us alive. So again, I think this is just a thing of how. See these musical labels. They are these guys. They are like the mob. They're a very sophisticated mob. A very sophisticated cartel and they know that and which is why like which is contract 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 because look when you're a young rapper wrong person man you, you've suffered you've gone through poverty you know it's even reading the contract you say you know lawyer is not lawyer get the heck off where do i sign so i can get this flipping cash but which is why these record they know how desperate 
a poor man is, is always be desperate. A poor man, he'll, he'll do anything to get money. A starving man will do anything to get food. So they know that, aha, so these guys are smart. These guys are smart. Well, not. Let's create a contract where we can gain as much profit from the talent and the labor of these dudes. Because everything is, 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 is in a contract, you know, and that's the thing with the contract. Same thing with the whole messy thing. So you now say, oh, no, 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 I want my masters, you know, I own them. Well, you, you have to go to a court of law. And when you go to a court of law, you present your evidence and the contract says, nah, sorry, this record label owns the contracts and you signed. You signed. Um, and the deepest thing is these record labels, they have no... You see, it's not down to their morals, which is why he's Kanye West is sitting because he's trying to now sway people's views as to how they now perceive. Because now, if if you now he now starts a movement again, which is which is the key thing, if he now starts a movement against these record labels, this could now be the catalyst in things changing. Because I'm going to say something very quick about Drake. So Kanye says that this moment is going to change the music industry for good. I feel so humbled and blessed that God has put me in a strong you know, position to do this. Everyone keep praying. It's working. Because there's another key thing that he said. Just that he, he posts so much stuff. Um, it's the key thing that he said. Uh, I'm one of the most moon to me that because I cannot afford them. Black masters matter. Okay. Um, let me see. There's one thing. So now see this is see this is what I was going to. I'm the only person who can speak on this because I made multi billions outside of music. No musician make billions inside of music. I'm going to change this. I know a lot of musicians are not allowed to say anything, but I can't be muted or cancelled. So I'm going to say everything as always. Again, that's the thing because he's in a very very key position. We've gotten comfortable with not having what we deserve. They allow us to have a, a little money from touring, get some gold chains, some alcohol, some girls, and fake numbers that feed our egos, but we don't own our masters, which is key. So I think that's where we're going into here is that, um, and I think basically the last thing he did, he basically posted, um, Kim is my lawyer. What the hell? You see, this guy just put some random stuff, man. Um, so we said that he just puts his contract. So I wanted to talk about Drake. You see, Drake is very key. And I think I was, I was watching this video where they said that Drake would change the entire music industry. And I think something is going to happen and someone on the magnitude of Drake will have to do it because we are living in a... Same thing with this whole COVID thing, how COVID has accelerated online businesses. If Drake decides to become independent... That changes everything. Because remember, before the internet, before streaming and before online, I remember those days. Maybe you, you kids don't remember. You had to go to HMV. You had to go to Virgin Maker Store. You had to go and buy the CD. So that was very much in the control of the record label because as an artist, I don't have the, the capital. I don't have the connections. I don't have the means to get thousands upon thousands of CDs, compact discs into these stores. The record label does because that's what they, they do. SoundCloud. <laughs> SoundCloud, right right now, nobody buys CDs anymore apart from me because I still love the sound of CDs, but nobody buys CDs. Everybody now, now streams stuff. So if Drake says, I'll set up my own independent company, my own independent streaming sites, or my own independent digital store, where artists now get 80% of the profits. So let me say I keep 20%. So I keep 20. Look, I'm really rich already. I keep 20%. Yo, Drake, yo, call it um, Drake Nets or something. You artists, you come here, you get to keep 80% of the profits. And I keep 20%. So all the biggest artists that if you want to buy this thing, you buy it for let's say six ninety nine, five ninety nine, whatsoever. You keep eighty percent, I keep twenty percent. So you have creative and anything you make, you own the masters. That will change everything. That if Drake does that, that single handedly destroys the music industry. 
It destroys the music industry because for a long time, these guys have screwed over artists. Screw them over. Because, you see, I get it. You see, you have to, you have to look at this in a very objective point of view. It's a business. Yo. You see, you see, before streaming, it is what it is. You don't have the means to put these CDs in these bricks and mortar, in these shops. So, therefore, you need me. You need the record label. It is what it is. So that thing that was that CD that cost like sixteen, like, like remember, like get rich, sorry, yeah, get rich or die trying. That thing was about thirteen, nineteen, fourteen, nineteen back in in, in HMV. Um, seventy percent of that would go to um, 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 the record label because I don't think Fifty Cent made most of his money. See, the thing about get rich or die trying is. It was so successful. It sold so much that he was able to pretty much retire after that. Like after that album, it was so successful. Like, Look, I'm done. I don't even need to do anything more. Um, but the thing though is, these things are now different now because it's like. Without the CD, and CDs don't exist. CD stores, they don't exist. No, they don't exist, people don't see it anymore. When you're not dealing with streaming, so obviously you have the sites that the biggest one is really Spotify. Spotify and Apple, those are the biggest ones. I use Tidal personally, trying to support Jay-Z. But I use but Spotify and Apple are the biggest ones. But if Drake just says, yo, because... People are not really making money in through streaming. That's not I, I, there's hardly any money being made. Money was always made through your purchasing. You're buying this stuff, and trust me, if they say that this new Beyonce, this new Kanye, this new J Cole, new Kendrick Lamar, this album is seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine, people will buy it. Now, obviously, you now have to be. Hire the best computer guys and everything, so so you don't have like a lime wire Napster kind of thing. Because once things become digital online, it's very easy to um, rip it and put it on all the sites. So you really have to have um, protect against that. But if Drake was to, because if Drake's you know, you can only buy my music from this three sites. People will, will buy. <laughs> people will buy it, and people will buy a Kendrick Lamar album. People will buy the J. Cole album, the Kanye West album, the Beyonce album, the Rihanna album. They'll buy it. Um, so, it is what it is. So, that is when it's time. But I just uh, this could be a very... Because right now, record labels are now sweating. Because they know that this could become something. Because, see, this could just be like, he talks and talks. And like, so what record labels are hoping is that, look, they just forget about this and everything. Because, see... What record labels are fearing is what I'm saying, bro. A contract is a is a is a, a contract, and for record label, I don't have to put a price on anything. It's just, I think it's a similar thing happening with which I, I, I saw the locks and Puff Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy owns the the masters for the locks, and he refuses to give it to them. Now we don't know why that reason is and everything, but it is what it is. But Puff Daddy or any of these guys, you there is no obligation. There's no law that says you must give these masters back. Or you must put a price on them. There's, 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 there's no law for that. You, you, you sign the contract, and in that contract, they said, "I am giving you my masters." But you signed the contract when you were like a flipping in your early twenties, and you didn't have any clue what the heck masters was. You were poor. I'm going to sign anything. So it was like a, you were always going to lose. The artist was always going to lose. They were always going to sign that contract that gave their masters away. So the key thing is. If, and that's the thing, the key thing is Drake is the biggest artist on the planet. He is. There's no one, no, no one is. He is, the, he is the Michael Jackson of this generation. He's not Michael Jackson. He's not the Michael Jackson, but he's the Michael Jackson equivalent in terms of how he sets trends and how he's at the, he's literally at the, at the precipice of pop culture and popular music for, for today. He is. So if Drake says, I'm going independent, I'm creating an independent digital store where artists get to keep their masters and keep all of their content. That is a game changer. That is a game changer on epic proportions. 
game changer on epic proportions. Um, but I just don't. I, see, that's, but I don't. I don't. I just don't see Drake doing that. I don't see Drake because the issue with Drake is that he's he's comfortable. He's comfortable, and I think Drake and Kanye West are very different in their thing. I think Kanye West is, has always been a guy who has always had like a chip on his, his shoulder. Like again, I may not really like him. I may find him annoying. But one thing I do have sort of appreciated is he's tried to think outside of the of the box. The way he does it is a bit haphazard, but I do appreciate how he... I appreciate the general theme of what he's trying to do of I'm trying to shake things. I'm trying to push for ownership and so forth. I'm trying to be different. I'm not trying to be just another black guy who bows his head and just says thingy. So, but Drake just seems to me... His, look, I saw an Instagram video of Drake and he was chilling. Drake was chilling. He was like, yo, eating his food and so forth. So, is, does he have the... Because if he's comfortable, he's doing fine, he's doing okay, what motivation does he have to be like, man, let me really change things for the music industry forever. Let me get all these artists to, together in one place. Let us own all of our masters and from now on, all of our original content is, is ours. It's... it's, it's it's an interesting, interesting thesis. Or we wait and we see how this whole thing rolls through. Peace out, stay true, your boys out.